Am I the only one that didn't know only believers in Christ would be taken? I never believed it could happen. Not to me, not to us. But here we are, left behind in a world that's, that's no longer ours. It was just another day. I was late for work, coffee in hand, ignoring the street preacher's warnings about the end times. Repent, the rapture is coming. His words echo in my mind now. Repent, the rapture is coming. I laughed it off then, if only I had listened. Then it happened. In an instant, millions vanished. Cars crashed, planes fell from the sky, chaos reigned. I thought it was a dream, a nightmare. But the empty clothes on the sidewalk, they were real. My phone buzzed incessantly. News alerts, missed calls, frantic messages. The world was waking up to a new reality, a reality we never imagined. As the world descended into panic, he rose. Charismatic, powerful, promising peace and unity. We welcomed him, desperate for answers, but his peace came at a price. Seven years. That's how long they said his reign would last. Seven years of Lucifer's puppet ruling the earth. At first it seemed like a miracle. War ceased, hunger vanished. But then came the mark, a simple implant, they said, for identification, for commerce. But we knew the truth. It was the mark of the beast. Those who refused faced a choice conform or be cast out. Many chose exile, forming underground communities. I've seen things, horrors beyond imagination. The mark, the persecution, the false miracles, cities transformed into fortresses of sin, the faithful hunted like animals. Nature itself seemed to rebel against us. Every day is a struggle to survive, to keep faith in a world that's forgotten God. But even in this darkness, there's hope, a promise of return, of judgment, of a new beginning. We study the prophecies, prepare for what's to come. The tribulation will be the worst time in human history, a seven-year period where God's 21 judgments fall upon the earth. We, the left behind, wait and watch. For in our darkest hour we found the light we had ignored for so long. This is our story, the story of those who were left behind in Lucifer's reign. And though the world may end in fire and brimstone, we hold on to the promise of a new heaven and a new earth.